Hello, my name is Ashling, and welcome to my informational video on knife safety in the kitchen. Knife safety is very important. Knowing this information could be the difference between keeping all your fingers or losing one of them to a chef's knife. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to properly handle, use, and clean knives, as well as some extra knife related facts. Well, I hope you are ready to be informed. Let's get into the rules of knife safety. I'd like to start this video off with a little story about my younger self and my obsession of opening packages with knives. I don't actually know why I like doing this. All I know is that I used to do it a lot and I guess I thought it made me look cool. No idea, kind of weird. Anyways, I was about 10 years old and I had gotten a new pair of headphones and they were contained in one of those weird vacuum sealed impossible to open packages. And in my head, I thought the best way to open one of these definitely has got to be with a knife. So I started to saw through the package when all of a sudden I broke through the plastic unexpectedly, lost control of the knife, and just sliced right across my fingers. So not one of my greatest moments, I won't lie. And you know, me being the dumb little 10 year old I was, I went to the bathroom, cleaned myself up, put on some band-aids, and I didn't tell my parents until hours later when the cut split open again while I was trying to cut up my dinner. This brings me to rule number one, always use the right knife for the job. So if you're doing something like cutting up a raw steak or some kind of raw meat, Try to use a carving knife, definitely not a paring knife. Rule number two, always use a cutting board. Never cut directly on a table. It dulls your knife and creates scratches. Also, before you start chopping anything, make sure you have a damp towel or sticky mat under your cutting board just to keep it in place. Keep in mind, damp, not wet. A wet towel will make a mess of your workstation and probably won't do much to stabilize your cutting board. Rule number three, Never wash a knife in a regular sink, unless you're at home. If you're at home, make sure that the person who is washing dishes knows that there is a knife in the sink. Knives should always be washed in a knife sink, so no one cuts themselves on an unexpected knife underwater. When washing a knife, always point the blade away from you and clean it one side at a time. Always make sure to wash the handle as well to ensure utmost cleanliness. Rule number four, handle knives with care and ensure that others know when you have a knife in hand. When using a knife, pay attention to what you're doing. Don't get caught up in a conversation and start waving a knife around. That's how injuries happen. When walking through the kitchen, call out, sharp coming through, and hold the knife at your thigh with the blade pointing down and the sharp edge of the knife facing back. Also, Make sure to keep the knife secure on your workstation. Leave it entirely on the table or entirely on the cutting board. Lastly, if the knife doesn't need to go with you when you're moving around the kitchen, just leave it at your station. And last but not least, rule number five, protect yourself by using proper cutting methods. One easy method we will be using is the claw method. This method is executed when you curl your four fingers into a claw, tucking your thumb in behind them and using these fingers to grip the food you're cutting, but also to guide the knife. Always make sure to use a rocking motion when cutting. Lifting the knife off the board increases the chance of you cutting something that isn't edible. You know, like your thumb. To end this video, I'm going to go over a few things you should remember, and a fun fact. Keep in mind that a sharp knife is a safe knife. Ensure that your knives are sharpened so you get a clean cut without exerting too much effort. Never try to catch a falling knife. Just step back and let it fall. Catching a falling knife is a surefire way to get cut. Did you know that in 2011, 
laxerations and cuts made up 42% of hand injuries at hospital emergency departments. That is a lot of falling knives. To conclude, I'm sure that if you follow all of these rules, you really very probably won't have an accident in the kitchen with a knife. Remember, almost 100% of knife-related accidents in the kitchen are caused by carelessness. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you take everything I said into account next time you're using a knife in the kitchen. Oh, and remember, whatever you do, don't use knives to open packages.